Late Show. Already in progress. Ladies and gentlemen, you know. You know my guest tonight from Atonement, Atomic Blonde, and the X-Men series of instructional videos. <laughs> he now stars in a production of Cyrano de Bergerac. Please welcome James McAvoy. <laughs> It, whatever you want to do. We're just standing. Sure. <laughs> sure. Hey. Well, tell me about the project. There you go. Nice to see you again. Thanks for being back. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yes. Uh, I, I want. We actually. We want to get to Cyrano de Bergerac, which is at BAM. Yes. Okay. BAM Harvey Theater, starting on the fifth. On the fifth. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, I got to talk to you about uh, perhaps uh, one of your greatest uh, appearances on the screen, which I did not know about until recently, is that you were on the great. British Bake Off, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, there was. You were on, but but we didn't know that. No. I didn't know that because yeah. I like the show, but I didn't know that because you were on the celebrity version that for reasons that I don't understand, it's, it's, it's a, not in the United States. It's, uh, we do the celebrity version for a British-based charity called Stand Up to Cancer, and I think because... We have that here. You do? We have that here. I don't know then why. So the whole thing that I was going to tell you is absolute nonsense. Um, <laughs> I don't know why we don't have it here, but let's start a petition. Maybe we can make it happen. Power to the yes. people! Uh, yeah, but yeah, we need an extradition treaty, please, for the celebrity. But here's the thing: you, you, did you win? I won it. Yeah, you won. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. First of all, what's it like inside that tent? What's it feel like? What's the pressure like? Temperatures rising. There's, there's like, there's wheat flour everywhere. It looks like Scarface times ten. It's not good. You know the bit with Pacino and the coke. It's like yeah, that, yeah. but with flour. Um, it's sweaty, it's uh, tense. I, I, it's Does everybody feel the pressure, or is it like some people are cool? Were you cool? Well, I'm usually quite cool. I don't really feel nerves too much, and yet in there I felt quite tense. And even though it was just for charity, it's all for a good cause, it's all fun, nobody's really judging you harshly, and yet, yeah, you do. I mean, David Bedil, who's a great, uh, great comedian and writer but, and presenter back home, just wrote a book called Jews Don't Count, which is excellent. Uh, he was... Um, uh, he was there, and he was, like, quite upfront about the fact that he didn't care about bacon. Sure. He was just there for a good cause, raised some awareness, raised some money for charity, and doesn't care if he makes an absolute idiot of himself. And yet, halfway through the second challenge, he was like, why am I on the verge of tears? <laughs> I'm so scared that I'm not going to be able to turn in my homework. Sure. And we all, we all felt like that. But we also had Dame Kelly Holmes, as well, who'd won, like, a gazillion gold medals for Great Britain, used to be in the army, the whole thing. And she was, like, she was, she was pissed that I won. I'm pretty certain anyway. She was lovely, but she was well. Overwhelmed. Listen, this this was here was your showstopper. Was this your, your finale? Was this the thing you brought her home with? That was my snow leopard pina okay. colada. This cake. is a snow leopard. Is that is that toasted coconut on the outside? That, that is that very much. That is toasted coconut. Look at that damn thing. Thank you. First of all, <laughs> if you ever decide to go on Tinder, this is the shot you have to use. No, not that. <laughs> him. You got to include him in it, too. Yeah, no one's going to swipe left on that, man. Oh, thank now, you. Um, what did they think? What did they think of this? Uh, they thought it was really good, Paul. No um, soggy bottom. No soggy, no soggy bottom. bottom. No soggy bottom. Thank you very much. Uh, Paul, uh, who weirdly lives across the road from a, a cat, a, a wild cat reserve, uh, for, you know, endangered and, and, and injured animals and stuff, said that uh, the snow leopards had just given birth to some cubs and that I should come down because... And he kept saying this phrase, he kept saying, we can handle them, we can handle them. <laughs> I was like, oh, I would have done it, but uh, I didn't have the time, but I'd love to go handle some cubs with Paul Hubbard. No. But he said he was very impressed, but I did fess up and I said, listen, I was a, an apprentice confectioner for three years when I was uh, in acting so you, school. So they thought you were an amateur. They thought I was an amateur. I fessed up, but they cut it out of the whole show. So my So there are people who watched you win that, who right now are learning <laughs> that yes. you were a ringer. Yes, I was a ringer. I was a wow. bad ringer. <laughs> that means they have to go take the money away from the charity now, because I think you lied. They do. Yeah, because I'm, of my lies, yeah, people have to suffer. Fault. 
It's your fault. Yeah. Now, um, at, at the moment, again, you're starring as uh, in the adaptation of Cyrano de Bergerac. Thank you. Yep. So, so you started in 2019. When did you get a sense that uh, this COVID thing might cause a bit of a hiccup in your production schedule? Oh man, every single I mean, they say it didn't touch down in Britain. I don't know, in March till March or something like that. But we could hear the coughing increasing night oh, on night no. on night on night on night and. Um, I remember sometime in sort of the middle of February, my, my wife said to me, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do the stage door thing. Because I'd always go to stage door and there maybe be, Over you know. Over the fan sign and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There maybe be, you know, I don't know, 100 people or something there, and you know, thousands perhaps one night. And, um, uh, like, 75. And um, <laughs> you go sign, 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 sign. She said, maybe you shouldn't do this with COVID. And, it's, and I was like, nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that night I go to the stage door and the first person standing there, she goes, can you take the picture with my phone, please? And I was like, oh, of course, of course, of course. She's wearing a mask and she's got a suitcase. And I go, oh, did you just get in? She went and coughed right on me. She says, yes, I just got off the plane. I was like, ah, I don't know if I should be doing this. <laughs> and that was the end of stage door. And I'm, even now I'm not doing stage door. Apologies to anybody who waits at stage door for like two hours going, is he still in the building? Because they tell you clearly he's left the building and yet there's people there two hours later on the off chance that you're going to come out and sign something. We're not allowed to, I'm really sorry. No, it'll come back. Uh, you hope It'll so. come back. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more James McAvoy, everybody. <laughs>